must be careful even how we express the things that we call testimony in church with all due respect and i don't mean to bruise your ego it's too early i'm just arriving but 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 help me round up on time but so let me just have your attention don't come and give a testimony like we were turning a bus from different churches then there was an accident and i was the only survivor and it is because of the prophetic word joshua selman gave over my life that may be a sincere testimony but these are the kinds of trouble we cause kenya help men of god love one another are we together don't go around downplaying the investment of god's grace upon another preacher as a way of demonstrating the excellency of another person's work no don't do that remember we're still dealing with the commonwealth thing within the fold everyone wins even when one wins did you hear what i said within the fold everyone wins even when one wins i can share in the victory of reverend julian even though i have no business with what i saw there but it becomes my business because he's my brother and if you have a problem with that then uh talk to our father i think he's the, the person the best person in that position so i can celebrate what he's doing genuinely not pretentiously genuinely are we together now you are a blessing i told myself this right from before god lifted me genesis 12 and verse 3 in thee I'm speaking here to a man of God who is always angry when he sees another man of God with greater grace. Find comfort. You are equally valuable. There is a space for you in God's program. Are we together? The reason why you do not find a whale in an aquarium is because there's no space for the whale there. If the whale is a whale indeed, go to the ocean. Leave the aquarium peacefully and let the fishes that have the size enough for the aquarium. A whale does not beautify a house, unfortunately. So don't say you are too small. You are just exact for the beauty of a room. Who is God speaking to? Apostle, I just have five members. And uh, I don't know why I, I can't become like so and so. Well, if you can build those five members to be the five billionaires, the five apostles, the five prophets in Kenya, you would have become the most successful man of God known in history. It's amazing how that we look away from all that God has done in our lives and we begin to admire others to a point of envy, jealousy, offense, then hatred. Admire and celebrate graces and gifts, but not at the detriment of your own investment.